Hello beautiful beings, this is Maruma Tu and you are watching Sun Soul Astrology and this is the daily planetary translation for February the 4th, 2017. And today is pretty awesome. The sun is going to be at 16 degrees of Aquarius and this happens to be another degree that's talking about taking a look through a linear mind and finding proof of how this world really exists to be. So we are going to um, focus on a couple aspects, okay? Because, you know, Jupiter is stationed to go retrograde. The video is finished and it just did not want to upload. And this one was getting behind. So here I am for this. And then that will be continued. So at 12 noon, okay, Pacific Standard Time, the moon at 24 degrees of Taurus is going to be creating a yod, okay? The finger of God, okay? So this is whenever the moon is going to quincunx Saturn at 24 degrees of Sagittarius and quincunx Jupiter at 23 degrees and 8 minutes of Libra and then sextile uh, Jupiter and Saturn, okay? So that's what a yod is in uh, technical terms. <laughs> But what the Yod represents is a finger of God. So it's whenever it's a highlighted point in the chart that's saying, look here, okay? So the sextile creates the legs, okay? And then the Yod creates the point, the exit point is what we call it. So it's the moon at 24 degrees of Taurus that the energy of Jupiter and the energy of Saturn is going to be funneling out of to the point, okay? So let's talk about this because it's awesome. And again, you know, some more Taurus love because the moon is going to be moving out of Taurus. And as you know, per yesterday, I said I would let you know today when that was gonna occur. And so today, US Pacific Coast time again at 8.44 p.m. So those who are in like, say, England, it's gonna be 8.44 in the morning. All right, Taurus, 24 degrees. A man with no mouth, nothing to say, everything to do. The self cannot be articulated because it is far too busy pressed out into emergency mobilization 24 hours a day. No personal life, no personal world, no personal self. Just fantastic availability to the call, the collective vigil entered upon willingly and selfishly. The demands and rigors of this position and stance are punishing and extreme and extreme. <laughs> you are so hard pressed, so rigidly attentive that nothing else exists. The assessment is clear, brutally so. Be on the spot at every level, maintain order, keep going, keep everything going and stay tuned to everything unusual and strange, AKA me, right? No, just kidding, <laughs> but really, um, following it out keeping it in your sights and make absolutely sure that you stay sober integrity sworn and momentarily diligent to hold the center and uphold the law with a steadfastness that is beyond belief and simply true like wow you know and i know i've had this conversation with so many of my viewers that have booked readings with me about this especially tonight um it's like so much of absolutely going in. You know what I mean? Our mission is so big. And so, you know, there's nothing to say and there's everything to do. And everything to do is really this soul work. You know what I mean? Really bringing up those jewels inside, you know, through meditation and whatever mediums that you use to connect back to source, you know, because some people just simply go for a walk in nature. Um, go for a swim in a pond, a lake, a pool, you know what I mean? Whatever it does, whatever it takes to bring you back to self is really what needs to be occurring because, you know, nothing to say and everything to do. The self cannot be articulated because it is far too busily pressed out into emergency mobilization 24 hours a day. So this was like my statement of no more Netflix and chill, right? Um, 
because wow we're way too busy on this mission and uh, I think it's really awesome because so many of my viewers have really taken to heart like really launching out there into the world and being uh, a beacon of their own and so yeah you've got too much to do right now no personal life no personal world no personal self like uh, that's my life for sure um yeah because you're too busy helping to save the collective <laughs> and it's a real job right it's a real job just fantastic availability to the call the collective visual entered upon willingly and selfishly all right and again this is that you know your soul sacrificed this lifetime of the physical 3d flesh to actually step into your abundance and so you know what you might very well be being very well be someone who has recently just woken up you know what i mean or is in the process of awakening and so you know it doesn't matter how, what time, what linear time aspect that this happened in, and it doesn't matter your present age. It just matters that you're here now. You know what I mean? And that you're getting this all going now because it all happens at the exact right moment. And not everybody is meant to wake up. Not everybody is meant to get it. But if you can conceive of anything that's coming out of my mouth, you are one of the ones who is meant to wake the fuck up, okay? So the demand and the rigor, of this position and stance are punishing and extreme yay welcome you know what i mean because it's like you just have to be so diligent you have to be so cutthroat and i've already flipped my shit about this a couple times on my daily so i don't i know i don't need to do that now right you guys got it okay so you are so hard pressed so rabidly attentive that nothing else exists and it's pretty true you know what I mean? It is really true because, you know, <laughs> watch Doctor Strange. It's important. It's someone's homework out there. You know who you are. You do it, do it, do it. Um, the assessment is clear. Brutally so. Man, I don't even need to go into that one because you all have heard this so many times that you don't need me to explain that one again. B, on the spot, at every level, maintain order, keep everything going, and stay tuned to everything unusual and strange. <laughs> yeah, I mean, damn. How refreshing is it just to see the unusual and the strange be unusual and strange? So you know what I mean? Stay tuned to everything unusual and strange. <laughs> Follow it out. Keep it in your sights and make absolutely sure that you stay sober. Integrity sworn and minutely diligent to the center and uphold the law with the steadfastness that is beyond belief and simply true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, of course, we don't want to be, um, you know, going down... Uh, <sighs> rabbit holes that you know are of substances you know what i mean we want to see this craziness through clear clear silver eyes you know what i mean and just be held fast to the to the you know uphold the law with a steadfastness that is beyond belief and simply true and we're talking about cosmic quantum laws you know what i mean and that's the thing is that it's so chaotic that it's hard. How do you how do you create those laws? Oh, you just literally make one law, okay? That is that, and it is that every single thing that you do, you do from pure heart and pure intent, okay? When you only operate from that integrity of self, then you don't have to worry about anything else because your actions are always in line, okay? None of this realm nor the quantum realm nor the holographic projection is a joke, okay? It's all meant to be taken dead ass serious. And the dead assness is making sure that you align in the correct vibration of integrity. You know what I mean? Because when you wish yourself the best and you wish other people the best, then what you're doing falls in line with the one universal law of oneness, compassion for the oneness, the unity of the oneness. You know what I mean? It's just pieces and sparks of the same. Pieces and sparks are the same. Pieces and sparks are the same. Um, okay, so <laughs> let me stop tripping for a second. Because, you know what I mean? Okay, so that was what the moon is expressing for us to do, right? But again, its legs are standing on Saturn and Sagittarius, which is conjunct the galactic center. 
okay and then jupiter sextiling jupiter and jupiter and saturn you know what i mean whenever we bring this quantum expression to the 3d to this you know matter situation that we see it's go saturn Ju sextiling jupiter is going to let us have this remain in the quantum realm for so long you know what i mean because so many people get mind swiped and they forget and then they fall back asleep and then they're you know tucked in in their onesies again right but we're not meant to go back to sleep this time and so jupiter sextiling saturn especially during this jupiter retrograde is going to bring us such a firmer ground in our clarity of craziness right of quantum craziness and that's you know really at the at the end of the day why einstein didn't want to believe that quantum entanglement was possible why he called it you know spooky matter to distance he's because he didn't want to realize he didn't want to conceive that the oneness was so big you know that he went into a splitting of the brain himself and then he wasted i don't want to say wasted because he did not waste any of his years okay but he did spend way too much energy for 35 years of his life trying to prove that it wasn't right only to selfishly allow himself to be in his onesie okay and my term for a onesie is those who are asleep tucked in in bed okay with their you know they probably even have the hood with the little bunny ears you know what i mean they got the feet you got to unzip the butt to go pee that kind of onesie that one okay einstein wanted to stay tucked into his onesie damn man you know what i mean because Jupiter, you know, and Jupiter is conjunct a benefic star, okay, called Spica. And Spica is really bringing jewels and bringing so many gifts. You know, whenever this video comes out, I'll be excited. It's literally the law of attraction and action, okay? So we are getting the opportunity that based on our integrity to move forward and to stay in line with what it is that we are trying to manifest from a place of pure heart, pure intent and pure love, that we are going to be given so many blessings, so many blessings. But that's why I keep saying, you know, check in with yourself, see what it is you're trying to manifest and why. Okay. And so this is all, this time frame is going to be about going inside to cultivate this. Okay. So that it can be birthed outward. Okay. This isn't just like bling bling in our face you know what i mean this isn't material manifestation in front of our eyes that's going to happen after june 9th okay and at the other end of this retrograde is the exact polar opposite of spica it's it's like you know negative representation it's algorab and it's algorab is going to regulate big time and really judge us on what we've done on a consistent daily basis to cultivate ourself, okay? And everything that I keep throwing up all over you every single day, right? <laughs> I'm pretty serious about it, pretty diligent about it, and um, I'm not gonna give up, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna give up on drilling this message because it's so big, you know? And I keep talking about time, it's because it's an emergency, like the degree was saying, okay? And so this brings me to the fact that Mars has uh, moved to five degrees of Aries, and we're gonna read that real, read that real quick because um, that is another powerful, powerful degree. And so five degrees of Aries, Mars, okay? Mars is our warrior, okay? He's the god of war the lover of Venus, and he represents our motives, our passions, our desires, our drive. He's our gas pedal that we step on and gives us the motivation to move forward and accomplish and conquer and just, you know, rawr, like get it all done. You know what I mean? So, okay, let me calm down. I get excited. I get so passionate. I get flipping excited and I go batshit. Okay, so the statue of a god worn smooth by devotees kisses that's so nice honoring the spirit within at all costs insisting upon the vertical aspect in all things you feel driven by the heart to go to the links to express and embody the realization of divinity intoxicated with the divine i am intoxicated with the divine right now called beyond and taken by a passion you are dedicated and concentrated and given over <laughs> transported into other realms ecstatic a frenzy of conversation that nothing matters except the ultimate swept away real released into the cosmos liberated from the wheel and expressing the inexpressible with consummate conviction what 
<laughs> like I so bust with freaking creation joy. It's not even funny, okay? It's literally like, you wanna see the definition of high on life? Like me at this moment, okay? And it also aligns so magically, okay? Like I said, Mars, our freaking warrior, you know what I mean? Our god of war is worn smooth by the devotees' kisses. You know what I mean? Like swept away, released into the cosmos, liberated from the wheel. Whew. Um, this is what I'm talking about. Whenever you wake up, this is kind of what happens. You know what I mean? You, you free yourself. You know, you sprout wings and you fly. When you drop your fear, when you drop your anxiety, whenever you get a big case of the fuck it's and you say, seriously, like seriously, I was born to do something. I was born as an individual. Like no matter what, at the end of the day, you are you. Nobody has your DNA. Nobody has your frequency. Nobody is your exact match, okay? Nobody, that's you. Your soul has a signature, just like your handwriting signature, okay? They're all different, they're all unique. So if you're meant to play, be plain as, okay? If you're meant to be like a piece of white bread, ain't no butter on it, then you know, that's you. You've gotta be that piece of plain bread with no butter, mm -mm. not even toasted if that's you. If you're that plain, then you gotta be that plain, you know what I mean? But you have to search your soul to see how plain you really are. You know what I mean? Or how exuberant you really are. Like, it doesn't matter which direction your freak flag flies, right? It just has to fly. And that's pretty much the basis, okay? Because it's a frenzy of conviction that nothing matters except the ultimate. Yeah, I really dig it. I really freaking dig it because it's honoring the spirit within at all costs and assisting upon the vertical aspect of all things, which is up, forward and onward, you know what I mean? To the higher... Um, dimensions of space and time, consciousness, the whole nine yards. So that's pretty much what's going on in the sky today. Just a note, you know, for all of you who are new to astrology, the outer planets, which we consider to be um, Saturn, Saturn used to in ancient astrology, um, so they say, uh, was the last planet, you know, as far as we went out, then we discovered Jupiter. So these, this is when the planets start moving slower, so they don't move as fast in the degrees or change houses as often, okay? So um, Jupiter and Saturn, Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune, and also Chiron, they, they move really slow, okay? So I don't always go into them every day because, you know, I mean, damn, some of them are in a sign for a really long time, like Pluto. Uh, when he starts making aspects, it's a really big deal, but Pluto came into Capricorn in 2008 and he's going to be in there until like 2023, 24. -ish. You know what I mean? He's going to be in there for a hot freaking minute. Um, so we're really focusing on the fast movers, okay? Which is the sun, the moon, Mercury, Mars, and Venus, okay? Those are the ones that move the most often. And the nodes, the north node and the south node representing the direction you need to head in life and where you come from in a past life, the south node, okay? Those transit about every 18 months. They change, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's why I focus on, you know, the major aspects. But that's just a, you know, if you're new to astrology tip, okay? So pretty much, I mean, dang, I think that the, everything that needed to be covered got covered for today. And I will be back tomorrow. And again, that Jupiter retrograde transit video that is going to go over all 12 signs and tell you where it's happening for you is going to be shortly coming. And please, um, any last minuteers, last minuteers, for the $30, $30 for 30 minutes, go ahead and hook that up ASAP. It's going away tomorrow and I'm not gonna bring it back. No special exceptions, okay? So get in now. Um, and uh, the Valentine special is going to go until the 14th, okay? And that is $50 for 30 minutes, a composite of you and your honey to see what star system you're from, what you got to do in this life, like major aspects. Do you dream the same dreams? Maybe you do and you don't know it. So let's check it out, okay? And I will be back tomorrow. Ciao, bless. To me. Absorb my life. Let me illuminate you. Close your eyes. Can you hear my voice? Whisper.